bit small in the sense that there was just fun in my desk. I have been missing an accent. I don't know. What happened? Life just got crazy. I apologize. Um, I am back. I will strive to be a better. I have been stamping up a storm. The new spring um, catalog is, spring mini catalog is amazing. It is celebration. Celebration and stamping up is the best time of the year in my book. One of the best. Um, for every $50 purchase, you get a um, free item of your choice for every $50 or $100 order. And it is exclusive stamp sets and exclusive DSP. And the choices are amazing. If you are in need of a celebration or a mini catalog, whoops, that's backwards. Imagine that. Or a demonstrator, um, let me know. I would be happy to help you. The choices, oh gosh, that's upside down. You can tell I haven't done this for a while. Bear with me. I'm sure this one is very entertaining. I stuck my arm in ink. You name it today. I do try. I, I really do. This video is strictly, um, I just wanted to bring you my paper pumpkin perks, lots of pun, um, paper pumpkin alternatives for my paper pumpkin perks club and anyone out there who wants some ideas for paper pumpkin. I am just going to quick run over them so I can post it in my blog. If you want any details, you can go to paperwishesbymelinda.com where I will um, post all of the pictures of my alternative projects. And for those of you in my paper pumpkin perks club, you also get a full color PDF, um, some fun supplies to make a few more um, cards and gifts and a sweet treat because we all need sweet treats, right? So if you're not a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin or if you're wondering what Paper Pumpkin is, it is a wonderful box that comes to your mail every month. It's a subscription that you subscribe to, $25, I think. Oh gosh, that's terrible. Um, delivered to your door. You need to sign up by the 10th of every month to get next month's um, or that month's um, subscription. The sign up is now open for the March kit. The February kit is running late. For those of you that don't have yours yet, they have been shipped. Then they ran out of a few supplies. So the rest are supposed to ship next week. Suppose, keyword, the shipping chain supply in America is a mess. I work in transportation. Trust me, it's a mess. Um, so bear with it. It's not normally late like this. It looks amazing. It's kind of a Valentine featured kit. I cannot wait to play with it. I absolutely love Paper Pumpkin. This kit was a struggle and a challenge, to be honest. I have never made cards with bananas, cherries, and toast, to name a few. Um, but you know what? It pushed me out of my box. And once I opened it and got rolling, opened the box, it was fun. They are cute. Um, so every month it's a different theme, but that's okay because you do not have to follow the directions. There are directions that come in the kits to make fun projects, usually cards. They're full color, full directions. All the supplies are included. You might want a little extra adhesive, but usually everything's in these kits and they're great projects. I love to make alternative projects and I love to share them with those that subscribe to my Paper Pumpkin Club. I share this video with all of you so you can see the ideas. Uh, my Perks Club members get a little bit more instruction on sizes. Like I said, they get some pre-cut um, cardstock to make a few more items um, of their choice. So it is a really fun thing. So if you're interested in subscribing to Paper Pumpkin by Melinda, I would love to have you go to my website and you can some sign up and subscribe today and become a Paper Pumpkin Perks Club member too. That's a lot of words to say, but it's fun. I really enjoy the Paper Pumpkin. I usually every month take the little kit and end up with 18 to 24 or more cards because I cut them all up. I cut the envelopes up. I cut the cards up. I just have fun with it. Absolutely do not have to. It's just fun for me to see how far I can get with it. I literally use every piece in this kit, except for some of the envelopes I did not cut up this time. But I'm going to flip the camera in a minute, and I'm just going to go through them quick so I can get this posted on my blog with the whole um, paper pumpkin um, alternative projects I get on my blog. Once again, paperwishesbymelinda.com if you want to see it. Um, see them or any of the past projects. I'm also going to flip on with another video here in just a short minute or two and show you some of the new awesome and amazing projects. I have been stamping up a storm. I stamped so hard today that I stamped my clothes. Yeah, you know how you always worry about closing the, the um, ink pads? Yeah, well, you should probably watch out for the stamp sets too. 
it's just one of those days. But I love to see them, and I hope you do too. I am here to help you. If you have any questions, please email me, Melinda, at paperwishesbymelinda.com, and let me know. I'm happy to help with anything that I can. I am not the best videographer. I'm learning, so bear with me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If it's terrible, hey, let me know that too. You're not going to crush my feelings. Um, excuse my inky no polished fingernails. It is what you get. I, uh, like I said, I've been stamping, so I should call myself inky fingers. I did clean my stamp room today because whew, it was a red hot mess. And, uh, that was a big project too. So I'm going to flip the camera. I am going to open the box because these boxes are great to store your cards in. That way they're kept nice and neat until you need them. That's another awesome thing about Paper Pumpkin. You can make the cards and the projects and you're never caught without a card, especially if you adapt the themes every month like I do to birthday, um, sympathy, whatever I can get out of the kids. And then you always have cards when you need them. So you're never stuck going, oh, I got to run to the store. I need a card. No, these kids are amazing. So if I got 24 kits, I don't remember cards. I don't remember how many I got of this one. I want to say it was like 18. Even if they were at $2 a card, that's $36. And this kit costs 24. So it's a bargain. And you have a complete stamp set to continue to make cards with. Every month you get an ink spot. I don't have an ink spot in front of me, but a tiny ink spot, which is ink that you can use over and over. And you get a stamp set to keep. So these projects can go on and on and on. Um, if you ever need fruit or bananas, hey, we've got them. But the things were absolutely adorable in this kit. Um, a toast to your success. You tell the best yolks. Haha. Ha. Oh, it had eggs too. I forgot about the eggs. Um, I pick you for the cherries. The glasses were cute. There was party shapes. It really, there's some very cute. There is a lot of um, stamps on this um, kit. So those are really a bargain in and of themselves. So I am telling you, if you are not subscribing to Paper Pumpkin, think about it. Give it a try. It's fun. I really think you'll be shocked at just how far you can take each project and how useful they really are. Um, and I like to feature fun and I love to feature my alternative kits. So give it a try. See where it takes you. Here is the projects that I came up with for all of my alternative group members. Um, if you have any questions, just give me a shout. I'm going to flip through them kind of fast. Like I said, I will post the cards and pictures to my blog, paperwishesbymelinda.com. Feel free to jump on there and check them out. I'm going to show you a couple really quick projects at the end of this, and then I will um, keep you going because we all have to go watch football tonight, right? There's some amazing games. All right, here we go. Hopefully this will work. All right, hopefully you are viewing my desk and this is still going, right? Yes, okay, sorry. All right, as you can see, paperwishesbymelinda.com. Here we go, here are my alternative projects. Once again, don't forget, every month it does come with directions. We're gonna open the box. I'm gonna grab my projects out of it. And as you can see, there's still a lot of envelopes left. They're great envelopes for mailing all of your cards and projects. I, um, this is some of the celebration paper. Remember those um, gifts that you could get with every $50 purchase? They're um, during celebration now through the end of February. This rainbow paper, Sunshine and Rainbow Paper Pack is amazing. Super, super fun paper. And this was paper out of this kit. So this is six by six designer series paper, free with a $50 purchase. But there you go. This is a, um, I use ton of the teal paper. Oh, goodness sakes. Pool party. It is like I freeze when I get on this video every time. It never fails. These were, um, the labels out of the kit. They had a little, um, Oh, a little tag, like they were talking. Um, and I just snipped it off to make it a nice clean, um, label. There's, these are jewels out of the little kit. You are cherry sweet. This was the inside of one of the die cuts. All of the, um, fruit shapes, the stamp sets actually coordinate to go over them. So there's the cherry set and I stamped the cherries in the, um, early espresso that comes in the kit. I think it just gives more dimension to the shapes. This was out of the kit. This is some of the paper out of the um, Rainbow Series paper pack. It's actually the back side of this. So standard card, 
five and a half, um, eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. There is some of the, this is um, one of the yellow card bases out of the kit cut down to four by five and a quarter. There's the paper, um, double strand, actually triple wrapped with um, Baker's twine. I popped it with dimensionals. This is the inside out of one of the die cuts from the kit. I literally use all the pieces in the kit as much as I can. And there is some of the epoxy little shapes that came in the kit. They look just like this. So it was a super fun kit. There's the first one. Here is the, flying on the floor, sorry about that. Here is the inside, or this is where the inside came from. As you can see, there's the inside shape. More cherries, I'm sorry, that's the pits. Uh, this is um, basic white thick cardstock. This is one of the card fronts cut down to three and a quarter by five, four and a quarter by five. Once again, snip that little talking edge off, uh, adhere to a uh, Baker's Twine bow. This is popped up with dimensionals. Here's another one of them, Pool Party. This is a um, five and a half by 11. Um, no, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Snipped the um, card base down off one of the card fronts from the card kit. Um, there is some subtle embrush impressions embossing folder, a flower from the kit. Actually, it's an egg, but it's a flower on this card. Baker's twine with a bow. I did use the punch to get the, no, that's not the right punch. Oh, where is my punch tonight? It's hiding. It's the Flower Petals Punch, and I don't know where it is right at the moment. And that's a label from the kit. I did snip the edge to make it into a tag. These are some of the In Color Gems. Super fun card. A Toast to Your Success. This is the um, card front, one of the card fronts, cut down to four by five and a quarter. I added some of the um, DSP out of one of our, um, so this was our neutral pack. There's some toast, added a little mustache, a smiley face, a toast to your success. I went out an eighth of an inch with the early espresso. This is on crumb cake, double wrapped in um, twine and knotted. Like I said, more details will be on my blog. Hello, peel better soon. This is also a pool party card base. This is the inside of an envelope. Use all of those little pieces. Pop the banana up, gave him some glasses. Hello is a die cut from the kit, double tied bow wrapped um, with a mini glue dot. I loaf you. This was um, using our heart punch right here with cherry cobbler. I just punched out a heart. I loaf you. Same. Oh, there is the little tag. I left it on. You can see the little edge, a bow, a piece of toast, some epoxy. This one was actually one of the cards right out of the kit. So I did not cut it down. I just used one of the kits. The vellum is also in the kit. Um, I pick you more of the eggs or flowers. I made them into flowers. This is literally one of the card um, fronts cut down to three and a quarter by five. This is the back of that card and it is four by four and a quarter or four by five and a quarter. And it is stuck on um, basic white thick card stock. This is one of the awesome celebration sets with a label out of the um, kit. This set is... Where is it? It's not handy when I want to grab it. I absolutely love this set. It is called Chasing, um, Catching Butterflies. And it is so cute. This is actually card front. I cut down to four by five and a quarter. There's a little piece of an envelope. This is a label I pulled out of one of the, I die cut out of one of the kits. Added some gems. Isn't that just cute? Super fun card put on pool party. Another one on crumb cake. Hello out of the kit. Use the layering circles. There's some little gems. You are cherry sweet. Crumb cake card base. Is the hedgehog not cute? Um, finding a friend is the best gift of all. No. Finding a friend is the best discovery of all. This is the new hedgehog punch. I just used the hedgehog set um, to do a tree, some butterflies punched out and, um, popped him up with dimensionals on some crumb cake. He was stamped in the early espresso from the kit. This is, um, one of the yellow card bases actually. So this is probably, I think the back side of this. So this was four by five and a quarter, three and a three fourths by five. Super easy, super fun card. Here is your cherry sweet. 
um, another one, crumb cake, pool party, wrapped it in some um, pool party organdy ribbon, popped up the cherries, just super fun cards. This was actually out of one of the um, envelopes. I just cut the inside of the envelope out. It was really fun to use the little note cards, um, the, our little three and a half by five note card sets that come with envelopes. So here's some more out of the kit. Thanks a bunch. This is all out of the kit, except for the note card set. There are super fun note cards that come in a pack that look like this. There are basic white note cards and envelopes. Um, super nice, just fun little quick gifts. So they're great to have to pop in the mail, pop in a gift, pop in a gift bag. Thanks a bunch. You are cherry sweet. Um, once again, that's inside of one of the envelopes. Here's another one, a toast to your success. That is a die cut out of the, um, oh gosh, tasteful labels. Um, die cut. That was the other label I used is also to tasteful labels. Some toast, a toast to your success. All of this is out of the kit, um, except for this is out of the celebration rainbow paper pack. Another toast to your success. I thought this one was kind of cute. He almost looks grumpy. I don't know. Maybe I don't think so, but all of your kit, except for the DSP that's in the, um, basic, uh, color family six by six designer series paper. This is early espresso paper. This is just cut down to five by three. Easy, easy card. Hello. With some flowers. There's some more of the leaves. I did take my thumbnail and I curled them up a little bit. This is granny apple green. Some of the little gems out of the kit. Hello, flowers and a bow. I must have liked your cherry sweet because here's another one. I just, the cherries I thought were so darn cute. I love cherries. So this is crumb cake pool party, your cherry sweet. Once again, I cropped off that little um, quote shape off them and made it into a straight label. I love this one. I thought this one was fun. Thanks a bunch. This is one of the envelope insides cut to three and three quarters by five. A label, layering circles, popped up one of the bananas with dimensionals. Super sweet pool party. Pool party was fun with this. A toast to your success. You can tell I like the same sayings. I used those over and over, didn't I? More toast. This is uh, the back of one of the envelopes in Granny Apple Green. I used some of the um, Brilliant Blue cardstock. And this too is out of the Sunshine and Rainbows paper pack. Um, this is just super, super fun, fun paper. I used it a ton. I cut out a banner with some basic white paper, tied some bows. Just super cute card. Easy. Um, then I made a gift card, um, holder, or you could put money in it. And I thought this was super cute. I saw it on the internet and I thought it was fun. So I figured it out and made it and we're going to go over it tonight for you guys. Um, and show you, it has a belly band on it. So you open it up and you can, I don't have a gift card, but we can pretend this is a gift card and tuck it in there. So you cash gift card. How cool is that? Just how fun is that to send out? You can tuck it inside a card and isn't that just fun? What a great gift. So I wanted to show you how we made it. We used some thick card stock um, and I cut it to basic white thick card stock and I cut it three inches by um, nine and three fourths inches. And you can take our trimmer and it's super easy to cut because you pull the edge out and you want to cut your paper off because obviously it's eight and a half by 11. So this tells me how I can cut it because this only goes to six at nine and three fourths inches. Then we scored it at, um, helps if I get it the right way, two and a quarter and also at, um, six and a half. So you fold it on the scores and then we took some designer series paper and this is from the pattern party paper. I love, love, love this paper. Um, and it is cut at two and three fours by, um, nine and five eighths. So we cut it to right there. No, nine and five eighths. Oh goodness gracious. Okay. To nine and five eighths. Then we scored this paper, and this will be in my blog if you want deeper directions, at two and three sixteenths, and that's what's 
it, this is down to the sixteenths measurements, so two and three sixteenths. We um, scored it, and then I went ahead and scored it again at six and seven sixteenths. So you just kind of have to count them out right before a half and score it with your scoring blade. There's a cutting blade and a scoring blade on our trimmer. I absolutely love our trimmer. Then you need a belly band. This is out, also out of the pattern party. And this is a one inch by seven inch. And I went ahead and scored one edge of it at about half of the three inch shape. So at about one and three fourths. And the rest of it, I kind of just bent with my fingers. So we're gonna just kind of quickly put that together so you can see how to make the spun card. And we're gonna use our layer, our DSP that's already scored and folded inside of our um, paper and just kind of line it up so it's straight. And I just literally used my tape runner and I just stuck some tape right down oops and that did not line up very good okay like so and it's okay because this um is gonna fold down and the belly band is gonna cover it up a little bit so it's okay if it doesn't exactly match up and i'm gonna just put a piece down here to stick the back down and we're gonna go ahead and stick some, you can use glue, I tend to use my stamping seal all the time, like so. So now we've got our DSP stuck to our um, thick cardstock. So now we need some tearing tape and we are going to just put down the little gift flap and this is exactly what it's called, tearing tape, because we wanna seal the edges of the sides so our little gift card doesn't fall out. So we're going to put those just like so, and you can eyeball or be precise. I tend to eyeball and fly by the seat of my pants. So you're just going to put this down on each side, right at the edge, peel off the edges like so, Whoops. and seal it down. So there you have a pocket to put the money or the gift card in. Isn't that sweet? Now we need to finish the rest of it. So I took some layering circles and I used some of the, um, oh, what did I grab? The Bumblebee paper. And I just took a white layering circle stamped on the basic or cut out of basic white. And I ran out of my bananas since I used all of them in my kit. So the neat part was, remember we have that, um, and it has a little spot of red. Shoot, I don't know where that came from. Um, I just stamped an extra one with the set that's left over. That's what's cool. If you really like these cards, you can keep making them. So I just stamped another banana. And we're just going to stick it down on the back of our car, on our circle. That's, it. oops, oh my goodness. He's a flying banana tonight. Okay, we're going to stick it down like so. And I did use a corner rounder and rounded the edges of my front fold. So now we need to make our belly band and so we can stick it to the card front of our card. So just kind of, I remember I scored one side at an inch and three quarters which is about half of three inches and then the other side I want to fold once I get it in position because I want it to be a, a little bit loose so that I can um, slide it on and off my card so that looks pretty good and this is also out of the um, pattern party paper so then I am just going to give this a little bit of tape to hold it together like so that looks good and see it kind of sits right over the thing don't worry our circle's going to cover that up we're just going to take some stampin dimensionals you get some in your kit and i used a lot of dimensionals with these projects i love dimension i love to pop things up and we're just going to go ahead and place that so it covers up that and you know what i should have done this differently 
I wasn't thinking. I'm talking and not thinking. I, these aren't the easiest to peel up, but we're going to do it a little differently because I don't want the dimensionals on the paper. I want them to be on my band um, so that they move and don't get stuck. So I'm going to do this a little differently. That way they're all in the band, like so on the belly band. That's called the belly band. And then I don't have a lot of the little yellow gems left, but I do have some. So we are just going to, these were kind of a bugger to use. They were little and um, not the easiest to get a hold of. We'll try using the take your pick tool and see how this goes. Well, since I don't have as many as I used on the other one, we're just going to put them on the And you can just place them anywhere. They're just fun to give a little dimension. Little bling. There you go. I don't know if I like that blue one, the pool party one on there. But anyway, isn't that cute? And we need to put a little sentiment on it. So I had, and of course it has ran off. Seriously, how do these things happen? The best laid plans never work. As you can tell, I um, stamped with one of the little, um, these come in the cat, they're little die cut shapes. I um, just stamped uh, celebrate and go bananas on the kit. As you can tell, this one, I had a lot more of the yellow from the kit. So I probably use those a little bit more, but is that not cute? Fun, fun little gift card set. So I just wanted to show you, this is another, um, belly band that I made because, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. So I'm going to end this with another card that is not in the kit, but here is a cute belly band project using our fun um, Hello Ladybug set. It is just such a fun set. Um, I made a belly band and there's the gift card. This would be so cute for Valentine's Day or birthday card or whatever. This is out of the um, pattern party paper and this is out of our um, Valentine's VSP called Sweet Talk. And then I made the little um, die cut the heart. And I did not corner around this one like so. Um, so I'm going to show you a cute card that goes with this and how I did the ladybug because it was just fun. So this card uses oh shoot weird okay let me get these cards out of the way all right here we go I took a piece of DSP from the um heart and home paper and this is cut three and a quarter by five and I'm going to stick it down to a piece of four by five and a quarter basic black then I'm going to stick that onto a thick basic white um, cardstock and this is cut to be five and a half scored at four and a quarter and we are going to work on this a little bit. This was a fun, fun card to make. This is how I actually ended up with ink all over myself. We are going to, I took the ladybug punch and I just punched out the ladybug's body. And it's really easy to turn your shapes upside down. And then, and this is out of the pool party DSP. Whoops. And I cut a little bit of his side off. So I will do another one. That way, when you turn it upside down, you can see what you're punching. So there is, this is actually the other side of that belly band paper. We just use the pattern pool party or pattern paper to use the other side to make a ladybug. And I already had one punched out, but I wanted to show you that. This is um, the stamp set, Hello Ladybug. I always like to end with a card for you guys that is non um paper pumpkin and you do get a card with any purchase from me or in your paper pumpkin kit you get a fun card for me every month because I love to send cards for any and all orders 
I love to send happy mail regardless. So I use my real red ink and my ladybug shape. And then we're going to punch this out with our um, ladybug punch. And it really need to turn it upside down and angle it in there. And I should have made this paper a little bit bigger. This is going to be a two-handed project. All right, that looks pretty good. So there we go. There's my shape. Now, there is black um, dots that you can use in the kit, but I thought it was just easier to use my Stampin' Blends and give the ladybug some black spots. So I'm just gonna color those in real quick. I love our Stampin' Blends. They are just awesome to color with and they don't leave um, lines. They just blend. If you like dimension shadows, they're fun to color with. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick the um, ladybug wings to the ladybug with our dimensionals, or not our dimensionals, our stamp and seal. You could use our glue, multi-purpose glue, either or. Oops, okay. All right, then we're going to take our stamp and I forgot to have this mounted. That's okay, rescue it quick. I'm using the Hello and I'm going to use my Memento Black ink and I'm gonna stamp a Hello up in the corner of the heart, like so. And then we have some amazing, amazing, brand new, I absolutely am addicted to this ribbon. It is amazing. Some real red ribbon. Um, it's like a linen thread type ribbon. It is amazing to tear or to tear, to tie bows with. It feels awesome. It's, it's just super, super great ribbon. I love it. So, I just knotted this down in the corner and hopefully I yeah, left myself enough tail. Sometimes I tie bows, sometimes I do knots. It just depends on what I'm doing with the card, what I feel for the moment. Whatever I tie never ties well when I'm on camera. That's just a given. So we'll see how this goes. All right, see how easy that is to tie though. I mean, this, this ribbon is awesome. Then trim up your tails with your paper snips. I always like to angle them. And this is ready to go on our card front. So I'm gonna use my Stampin' Seal Plus. I'm gonna run that down like so. We're gonna stick it to the front of our thick basic white card front. And it's crooked, of course. If you carefully peel it up, you can usually save it. Usually, keyword. Oh goodness, like nothing is going right tonight. I really don't like that. So I'm going to fill the whole thing up and we're going to uh, quick do a uh, nether card front because I don't like that. And like I said, it literally never fails when you're trying to be on live camera. It just is a given. This has just not been my day. Oh, look, now I broke my fingernail to top it off. Boy, he didn't know how much humor you were going to get in this video, did ya? So we're going to stick this down again. I am just a hot mess. This card is a disaster. It's probably a good thing I took a vacation from the video world. Okay, if you needed humor, just tune in. All right. That looks much better. So we're going to stick that down and voila, see so you can't even tell that it's a disaster on the back. Now we are going to take our heart and I just kind of stuck it at an angle with the um, stamping seal like so. And we're going to pop the ladybug off the card with some dimensionals. that are, oh my goodness, here. Oh, 
I like to use my take your pick tool to pop the backs off of the dimensionals and they don't quite fly all over. You can kind of just fly them right into the garbage. So just kind of angle your ladybug off your heart. Isn't that just sweet? And then I took some of the rhinestones because I love to add bling to cards. I just do. I love, love, love to add blings. So I used my take your pick tool and just kind of placed some rhinestones around the card like so. And I love that they're in different shapes. So there's lots of fun to mention with that. So isn't that sweet? But wait, we're not quite done because I think this card is so cute. It needs an inside. So I took another one of the ladybug shapes out of the kit and my memento black ink. And ink it up pretty good and then go ahead and stamp a ladybug down on the inside of the card like so and then I used my real red um, put that out of the way so that we do not get any more on it and I just kind of colored in the shell of the ladybug and if I wanted some like dimension or variation in color I would use my dark and my light for this I don't think my ladybug needs dimension so I am going to just a variation in color I'm just going to use my robot and see how I'm just coloring and there are no lines when you use a marker it leaves lines but when you stamp and blends they don't I love our stamping blends they are just awesome they have a a uh, wide tip, a brush tip, and a fine tip to get into small edges. So that's super cute. We also need to have a little saying in our kit, and it says, you can bug me anytime. How fun is that? So I'm going to use our black memento again. You can bug me anytime. Stamp that right in the center. Close the ink because we're already wearing it. We don't need to have the projects land in it to top it off. All right, we're going to use our stamping seal. I tend to use a lot of adhesive. I want to make sure my projects never fly away, which they won't the rate I go. All right, and I did decide, I don't normally do this, but I did put this inside the card on a black to match the card front. So it is a four by um, five and a quarter basic black, three and three fourths by four. And we're gonna go ahead after it's stamped and stick it inside the card. This is just a fun card. It could be perfect for Valentine's Day or just for fun. So what a cute little gift set. Here's your card. I also took some of the um, pattern play paper for the back of the envelope flap and I adhered that with my stamp and seal and trimmed it down. So there you go. There is a fun hello card with a you can bug me anytime. And if you really want to have some fun, you can make a coordinating fun little gift box. I'm going to do a video on those later, but aren't these cute? These ladybugs are just adorable. So hope you enjoyed this. Um, hope you enjoyed all of the products that we featured in the paper pumpkin kit. And I can turn my camera. I will turn you back around. All right. All right. Great. I was trying to keep this short and sweet and it's not. I'm sorry. Hope you enjoyed it all. Have a great night. And like I said, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Email if you have questions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.